What's up insiders, you've tuned into the newsflash, the quick, snappy, human summary of all of the product and policy updates on a weekly basis that you need to know to thrive on YouTube. Let's get into them. First up, we have stories. We're excited to announce that we're launching the ability for creators to select images or videos from folders or albums on their camera roll on mobile and add them to their stories. Why is this a good thing? Well, today creators have to scroll through their gallery to pick a video or image that they want to add to their stories. We've heard from creators that this can be a really painful experience. So we're adding the ability for them to choose images or videos from folders or albums. Now we're gonna be rolling this out for all creators on Android as well as iOS. Let us know if you've any feedback in the comments below. And from stories to shorts, good news for creators here. We've added a lot more music for specific countries, including the United States, available for shorts. Check it out. On to this week's only experiment, so listen up. This one is around the channel watch tab on Android. Now, what this involves is us running an experiment on Android that combines two navigation tabs into one, and those are videos and playlists. The goal is to simplify navigation for users so that we combine two content types to make it easier for those users to find the content they're interested in more easily. The playlists are gonna appear at the top of the page in a shelf, and there'll be an infinite video scroll list below. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And now we get to my favorite part of each one of these news flashes, and that's where I dig in to some of your comments. You left a ton of comments underneath our harmful or dangerous acts episode, within the Advertiser Friendly Content Guidelines series, which you can find on the channel. Uh, and we wanted to pick one out from a channel called Beanie Draws, who wants to know if the harmful and dangerous advertiser friendly guidelines apply to animation or film, where somebody is pretending to be in distress. Unless otherwise stated, the harmful or dangerous acts policy is going to refer to real life people in the content that you're uploading. So when it comes to an animated scene where somebody's in distress or dramatized content, somebody acting where they're in distress, that's really not gonna be in scope of this guideline. But what's really important to understand is that all of the advertiser-friendly content guidelines apply to all of your content. So your animated content might be totally fine with regard to the green icon when it comes to harmful or dangerous acts, but if it's laced with really strong profanity, then you're gonna to have to look at the inappropriate language guideline as well. So as ever, we love these comments. Please, please keep on leaving them underneath these videos um, and leave us any feedback you have on the newsflash. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube's creators, I've been Connor and this has been your weekly newsflash.